Well, hello and welcome back. It's me, the Shifty Loser, on the uh, the Shifty Loser Sim Racing Adventure, Senta Corsa Competition. That's right, here on Two Road Gaming. Well, here we go, guys. Let's just crack on with the race. Uh, well, we're starting not too bad. We ended up finishing in 10th. What the hell? We must have got a... Yeah, whatever. Well, let's crack on. Qualifying didn't go well. Needless to say, let's go. Stay double fire. I will. The incorrect queuing. Uh, we've gone back into the career, as I said earlier. We are now in the McLaren, guys. The Vantage V12, I think. Uh, whatever. I'm not sure what it is, to be perfectly fair. It's just another car of the kingdom. Ah, the engine's slightly quieter on high revs. So listening out to change gear is a bit more difficult than what it was prior, but then I guess I was used to the Bentley at this stage. And I don't want to fall too far behind here. Oh, I missed the gear. I don't want to get squeezed too much. Oh, I held a decent line. I'm trying to be careful. I wanted to. I, I figured out one of the things, one of the point things, is to do with trust. So I'm trying to be trustworthy, which is racing close to another car, I believe, without actually hitting it. I, oh, what the hell? What the hell? That was not cool, guys. Well, we've got a lot of work to do now, guys. A lot of work. This is going to be remarkably difficult, but here we go. Let's just smash on. At least it was on the first lap when people are still bunched up. Hopefully we can catch up to the back and start to work our way through the field. Now I do like the Zolder circuit. It's unfortunate that it's not on more games. Uh, until a set of course, I've not raced it, but it is a delightful track. A mixture of really good high speed areas of the circuit, coupled with very, very low speed like that. I nearly spun it then. I have done that a few times through practice. Now I don't want to get overly stupid. Consistency is key. If I can remain co more consistent than the chaps in front, hopefully, when it goes through the pit stops, I'll start doing okay, but I do want to pick off a few places here. I feel that I can. I'm definitely getting closer into the back of them. Now, in terms of the settings, now that we are actually back in the career, um, I've left it on normal for the driver AI. However, the realism is now at expert, so it has been slightly stepped up. Oh, I think I took that place. I don't think I did anything bad there. I did not. I got through clean. Fantastic. Anywho, I would, as I was saying, so yeah, the realism is now on expert, so car damage is 100%. Car on the right. Oh, on the right. I don't want to. I don't want to spin. I don't want to hit anyone. The Bentley. Hello, friend. Hello, my good man. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Well, I was a bit rough and tumbly, but I do need to pick up positions, and I didn't get any warnings or anything like that. Now I will endeavour once again to get the uh, the camera. Or the, rather the helicopter camera up into the top right corner of the screen there. Uh, just so you can see that overtake. I hope I remember to do it. Uh, it'll be very pleasing. Now these races are 20 minute races. They're not quite as short as the sprint races were in the uh, in the championship that we did. Now towards the end, well at the end in fact, of the last career that we did. We ended up with 1,700 points. So our goal this time round is simply to beat that. Um, which I do intend to do. And as you can see in the bottom right. I haven't put a full race worth of fuel in. I was being coy. Uh, so I put about 34 laps in. So I'm going to need to top up when we do go into the pits. Now there has been an update on the game as far as I'm aware. So it should just change the driver for me now. Uh, when I go in instead of me having to remember in terms of the stints. But I don't know. In fact we don't. Uh, there's two races in this isn't there. So it's not stint based. That's fantastic. I'm just bound around then. Brilliant. But yeah the fuel. I've uh, put a little lesson so I can maintain a bit of a higher speed just in the early stages but that's what happens when you don't concentrate correctly which is what I was doing the Bentley's coming up hard and fast behind now I do know that car so I definitely have the pace on it with this McLaren it's, it's not even McLaren I don't know why I'm lying it's an Aston Martin now I did have serious issues with that corner through practice I was very very slow I've not sped up too much admittedly however I am quicker on it than I was Sorry, I was focusing then. Uh, feeling the force feedback through this uh, Logitech. I am looking at the Fanatics or Fanatech, however it's pronounced, but that's a bit out of my range yet. I feel I need to get better uh, before I start splashing the cash. 
Now I did do a couple of online races for the first time earlier. I didn't do overly bad. I didn't do it under the name Shifty Loser, however. I need to change my uh, Steam username. Uh, but I will be doing more and more of that. I will try to get some videos up of me taking part in the online races. Oh, once I get into that, I just went in far too quick. Far too quick. Look at the gathering of the marbles around the edges there. Now, I need to concentrate more. That's what it is. But I'm trying my best to learn how to race and talk with you all at the same time. And I know I'm not really making any sense. A lot of what I said is effectively incoherent. Uh, there's no real structure. I definitely don't have a script. Um, who could be bothered with that? So yeah, I'm just pounding around. Now I always do that uh, hairpin at the, uh, the start of Sector 3 very, very well. And I'm usually very quick out of it as well. Ooh, I like that. I got down into gear fairly quick. Now I can take that in second, but... I tend to slow down a bit too much in second gear. I don't seem to get the, uh, the rotation in the car quite as much, so I, I've taken a stance of thump in it. Now into second through here, try and clip the apex and power out. That went, that's probably the best I've taken that corner, although it wasn't very good, I, I accept. Uh, but I don't claim to be amazing. I do like the scenery at Zolder. Look at the background, very industrial, very industrial. Yet solar panels and wind turbines all over. This is a, a place of the future. A place of the future. Now we are settled in quite well. Admittedly we're 14th out of 16th. I had hoped to pick up a few more places throughout that time. But sadly we haven't. But I feel consistency isn't overly bad. We can definitely improve. So there's definitely opportunities. Is how I'm seeing it. To get better. Instead of being hard on myself. Right this time round I don't want to go up. There we go. That was much better. Much smoother through there. I need to maintain that. I need to maintain it. Now I will endeavour just to put the full race in. It's a 20 minute race. So what, 22 and a half minutes you reckon? Intro and outro for the video? 23 and a half. Easy peasy. Uh, it shouldn't be too laborious for you all I hope. Um, more over just because I love the Zolder circuit. And I, I want it to be out there as much as possible. I want people to see this circuit. It needs to be in more. More games. More simulators. I mean I'm sure it's in racing room and whatnot. But they need to really pump this out. They, they need to get it out on the Gran Turismo. I mean, it might be. I don't know. I haven't played the new ones. I haven't had a PlayStation since the PlayStation 2. That's going back a while. Uh, I went towards the Xbox, but then effectively stopped playing all things computery for quite some time. Um, but, you know, now back on the channel. It's like a second lease of life. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm very much enjoying it. I've been playing the Control. Rather, just Control. Absolutely mad game map game. Uh, it is in the description below. I will pop down there and, and check it out. It, it's insane. If you're looking to buy a new game, uh, I've done a walkthrough guide. Uh, we're pretty much up to near what, episode 19 I suppose at the moment. But yeah, I think there'll be a couple of episodes more and then perhaps we'll, uh, we'll do a full breakdown and review of the game. But like I say, if you come and play and get in a new game I'd definitely hop back onto the, uh, the channel over there at Two Road Gaming and check it out. You'll like what you see, I'm sure insane insane anywho back on this back on this when, again we're not doing too bad I do need to remember to break slightly earlier for that now not the worst I've taken it but definitely not as smooth as the previous lap um, I should perhaps pop into the pit stop we're nearly halfway through the race how we're we looking on fuel 20 laps left I don't think we'll need to refuel guys I think we'll be good we may have actually put the right amount of fuel in the car for the first time that would be amazing. We've used about 10 litres. Rather, 13 litres of fuel. And there's only 12 minutes remaining, so I think that we're pretty good. Now, I'm surprised that I haven't completely binned it. Uh, I do feel that I've managed to get round quite well. Not massively fast, admittedly, it's fairly slow. However, I'm quite enjoying it. It's going quite well. It's fairly smooth. I feel we're fairly consistent. And as long as I don't drop it off the circuit, I'll be quite pleased. Now it got a bit hairy there, no doubt. That was, uh, that was, I twitched a little, twitched. I love that at the bottom it's still saying line up in double file. I will not, sir. I will not. Oh, I feel I held speed quite well through there. A little bit too tight. Admittedly, there's definitely more to get from it, but I like that I know there's more to get from it. Oh, 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 I do like that chicane. I do like it. But you can't tell if you hit that high curve coming out. 
you definitely can't steer after it because you will mess yourself up. Oh, that's better. That's better. I didn't have to brake after the first apex. I need to pick up my braking point slightly better. But like I said in previous videos, racing without the racing line has definitely improved my lap times. Picking my own braking point seems to be the way. Uh, much more intuitive. Well, I'm not sure what he said. Um, the leader is pitting. That's what he said. In that case, we'll take that guy's advice and we'll dump in there as well. Now, I remember this pit stop from the previous episodes. <laughs> I, I definitely bend it into that wall. Now, did I get down to speed? I, yes, I think I did. I need to find my spot. There we go. There we go. Yep, it's already changing the drivers for us, guys. I can confirm the update has done that trick. Looking over at the actual pit MFD. No, I don't feel that we hit anything. It's 32 seconds. What do we have to do? Repairs on suspension and bodywork. Oh, we did have a nudge, didn't we? Right at the start. Now I remember. Now I remember. Anyway, time for the shout-outs. Uh, my good friend, the Yorkshire Hero. Uh, back on it. Back from holiday. Back from holiday. Uh, doing a great job. Made some videos. Went out with Roadrunner. Or Lady Roadrunner M. I'm not sure what the name was. She's from Instagram. Uh, quite good videos. I'd definitely go on and give that a watch. Uh, uh, and Wakas. My good friend Wakas Hussain is back. Uh, FIFA 20 is out and he's already on it, guys. Already uh, a lot of good stuff up there. Um, and yeah. I'd definitely go check it out. And do stay over here. We've got Mama Slot pumping videos out now. We've got Vigor. That's a good game, like a survivalist game. I, I'm very impressed with it, to be perfectly honest. It looks very good. Looks very good. Uh, he also did Void Bastards. Now that's that's a funny game. I'd definitely give that a watch just for the uh, the oddities of it. Uh, now I do need to focus. Sorry guys, I need to get out of these pits quite well. I don't want to lose any time here. Hard into second gear and try and pound it round without losing. There we go. I'm pleased with that. I'm sure the. Uh, car in front started to drop it a little bit there. Oh, he went too slow. I had to tail brake. Or trail brake, sorry. I'm coming for you, friend. I had your slipstream. Right. I want to maintain my uh, trust, remember. I don't want to be uh, messing things up. This career round, uh, or this career mode, sorry, this time round, i I'm going to definitely take the improvements I've made. I have definitely learned lessons and I'm going to stick with them. I'm definitely going to put more focus into it uh, and concentrate harder on getting this completely right. I do intend to score very, very highly uh, throughout the career mode and then completely dominate in the, the championship that comes after. Hopefully by that point, um, well, we'll have another sim to go on. I'm looking at iRacing, but I'm not sure I'm good enough. I'm definitely not sure I'm good enough. Uh, but I am contemplating it. I did have a look at Grid. Uh, to put some grid videos out for you all, but I'm not much of an arcade racer. Uh, and ultimately on the channel, we're covered on there with Bob. He's uh, he's learning to sim race and starting on Forza 6, uh, which is a good choice. It's a good choice of game to start on. Uh, it's a bit more arcadey than Motorsport 7. So he will be able to step up. There's definitely an upgrade path there. Uh, and I do feel he will get good. He's starting to learn. He's doing a lot better now. Um, you should check out the video. Like I say, back on the channel. I'll put a link in the description below for it. Uh, but you definitely need to check it out. If you're an aspiring sim racer, uh, it is good to see how the others are getting on. Uh, Bob started with the pad. Uh, he's slowly reducing the amount of driver assist that he's using in order to get better that way, which is very good. Very good. Sensible approach. Now, I took that corner shockingly. Shockingly. The Ferrari in front is definitely uh, getting on my tits a little bit now, guys. Now, I hope my maths around the fuel was correct, because I definitely didn't put any more in. I think so. I think so. Seven laps remaining and there's only six and a half minutes in the race left. We'll call that eight minutes. So I'm confident that we'll uh, skim an additional lap there. We're definitely not close enough to the... Oh, I nearly went. I nearly went. I lost focus. After all I said about two minutes ago about maintaining focus and definitely putting more effort in, uh, it's not really worked a plan. Now we are in 13th position, so we've lost three places, I think. I do need to focus more. Now I do want to. I want to take over the Ferrari, if for nothing else, just because it's a Ferrari, and I want it. So I'm going to just work on that. There's going to be no, 
I'm not going to think about raid strategy. The only strategy here is getting that guy. But I don't want to push too hard when I completely drop it. I don't want to race where I come last in the first of the career mode races. Now, as I said earlier, I'm only going to show the, uh, the first race. I'm not going to mess about showing race one and two. I'd rather show you the entire thing so you can see how I get on throughout the race instead of cutting bits out. Um, in terms of actual racing and strategy, there are no boring bits of a race. It's all strategy. If the leader is out in front by themselves, then well done, well done. Uh, that, you know, plaudits to that. It's not necessarily boring. It's a fantastic drive normally. Uh, in these sort of races as well, I don't feel that there's going to be much boredom going on. I think that my pace is better than it was the last time round. And admittedly, like I said earlier, the, uh, the AI is set to normal. I appreciate that. So there's still room for improvement my good self as well. At some point I will change it to hard. Well, it says hard, but when you read the description it simply says fast. So unless I start winning pretty much all of the races in this, I don't feel that I'm quite ready for that yet. But if I do, I won't allow it to be too easy. I won't allow it to be too easy. I will step it up. There's no point in me just whacking it on full difficulty at the moment and making myself feel bad. It just ruined my own morale watching all the other cars just you know, speed away. Now if I can maintain consistency, I feel I will get this green feather in front of me. I am faster in certain corners, I just lapse at certain times. Like there, I need to get round him, but I can't, oh, I messed up. I was too focused on trying to get round that I forgot to change gear. How ridiculous is that? Come on, we've got him. Get in the slipstream, get in the slipstream. Now we've got the toe all the way down the home straight. Now the only problem with this is I can't see the entry to the corner, which I know is coming up. Car on the right. Clear on the right. I was very, very rude there. Very rude, but I wanted the position. I feel good about myself. Very pleased. Very pleased. I'd have, I'd have rather done it in a smooth, orderly fashion. However, that wasn't possible at the time. Oh, we're on it now. We just need to get away. No Ferrari in front of us this time to ruin this corner. On we go. Now we are pulling away. We did. We have put some some distance between us and the Ferrari. That's a satisfying thing to say. That was fairly smooth. Quite pleased with that. Now I just need to maintain a little more focus into the end of this race. Don't want to get stupid, and definitely don't want to start spinning the car. I don't think I'm going to catch the chap in front though. Seems to be pulling away rather fast. Now that corner, I know it may have seemed like I uh, messed the gearing up. I assure you I did not. The best way to get through there for me was to uh, ease off the throttle slightly. Up it to third and then pound on. I found that just that smashing through in second, I ran out of gear. And when I did change at the top of that gear, it just uh, kicked the ass of the car up. So the best way around to do it for me was just to ease off the throttle slightly and then down into third, oh sorry, down into second, up into third, oh, sorry, from into third, from second, what am I even talking about, I'm sorry, I'm trying to focus too much. Right, there's only two laps remaining, we've got four laps worth of fuel, I'm quite satisfied with the way I've calculated that on the fly, but I'm pleased, pleased. 34 laps of fuel seems to be the, uh, the desired amount then, gives us a bit of headroom at the end. And I don't want to risk running out of fuel. I did that at one point last last season, and that was shocking, embarrassing, in fact. That was a good line through there. Not overly quick into the corner, but we were definitely fast out. And we've definitely got away from the feather. Nowhere to be seen. The rear view mirror, my friends, is empty. That was a little bit sketchy to, uh, I might say. Definitely I slid the tyres a little bit and applied far too much in into the front laps. Uh, I should have been better at that corner by now. I should have been better. I'm disappointed in myself. Uh, the next race that comes up in this, the one I'm not going to show, uh, will be the Creepy Wizard and the Night Race. I'm not overly sure that's going to go well. I didn't qualify quite as well with the Creepy Wizard. Qualified, I think, 14. Very poor. Very poor showing. And I wouldn't mind. It wasn't as if we only got one clean lap in. The two hot laps were both clean, both valid. They were just slow. That was the only issue there. Well, we are coming round to the second, or oh, the penultimate. This is the penultimate lap. <coughs> 
my apologies. Now I do have some water there staring at me, but I don't want to just stop racing just yet. Keep it nice and tight to the apex. That'll do, that'll do nicely. The tyres are still in good condition. They feel fantastic under the car. I'm happy with that. Took a wide outside line. Could carry a lot of pace through and into this corner. Quickly down into the brakes and a shift into third. Feather the throttle at the first part of the corner and then just give it the beans and just pile out. Oh, I do like this chicane. I hope I hit it right on this with it being the last lap. I think I slowed down a little too early for it, but I like the exit. Up the hill into third. Over the crest into fourth and round to the sweeping left hander and then hard on the brakes down into first for this beautiful chicane that I kept getting wrong but I'm happy with that I'm happy with that hard on the throttle coming out I could feel traction control kicking in now I have left the traction control on just because I found I was skirting about I haven't much around uh, changing it up and down uh, throughout the race and I'm not sure how to turn the uh, ABS up and down I need to figure that one out I'm sure that I knew previously but not anymore Yep, the race is definitely finished. There is blue smoke, somebody having lots of cigarettes. Uh, and the uh, fireworks there in the background. Oh, very nice. I uh, just want to not spin it on the final lap. And here we come into the home straight. Now, that was quite a good race for us. I hope we didn't finish very well. It's well positioned. Um, but I'm quite happy with that. First race right, of this. Good job. You did the best you could. Thank you. Bring the car back. I will, Engelbert. Thank you very much. But as I was saying, guys, um, I'm quite pleased with that. First race back in the, uh, the new career. And beautiful Zolder. Beautiful, beautiful Zolder. Well, my friends, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, and have a good... Uh, no. Like and subscribe first. All that jazz. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. But do like, do subscribe, do check out all the other jazz. And uh, yeah, have a nice evening. Goodbye.